Welcome to November! Don't worry! This is just the first half I can hold that I want to read. There's plenty more coming your way soon. Hi guys! Welcome to my channel! Welcome if you're new, and if you're not new, welcome back! As you can tell by the title, this is going to be my November TVR. As always, I put way too many books that I want to try to finish before the end of the year. Some of these are realistically manageable to finish, but since I work in retail, that might be a little harder on me, but I, we're definitely going to try. So, without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump on into this. Hey! Again, we never know what we're doing, so we roll with the clip. And sorry my voice sounds a little funny, it's because I have a cold right now, so I really want to get this TBR up and edit as soon as possible, but my internet's slow, so don't know how long it will take for it to post, but hopefully eventually, so keep an eye out for this video. <laughs> Alright, one of the books I have that I want to try to listen to on audio is Clockwork Angel by Cassandra Clare. I have yet to read the series. Yes, I have all of the books. I've read most of Cassandra Clare's up until City of Lost Souls, and I read a Lady Midnight and Lord of Shadows, and that's about as far as I've gotten with that series, but I'm powering my way through it. Like, I have the Bing Chronicles, but that's for another TBR. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. But for this month, I really want to try to get through Clockwork Angel and, like, work my way up until the last book, which I believe is Clockwork Princess? Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think I am. But I am buddy reading a few books this month with some people over on Twitter, and this is one of them. We're going to start the first book and then work our way up to the third book in the series. So I'm pretty excited for this one. And it looks like it follows Tessa Gray and James and Will. That's pretty much all I know for the moment, just been looking on the back. But I'm going to go into half of these books pretty blind, if that's the way I like to do it. Moving on from Clockwork An uh, Angel, I was going to say Princess, but that wasn't right. The next book I checked out from my library is Mistborn by Brandon Sanderson. I have yet to read a Brandon Sanderson book. I have Skyward. I haven't read it, but I want to start with Mistborn because I keep seeing people read this on BookTube, and I've heard nothing but a few good things, and again... I go into my books pretty blind, so I apologize that I don't know what this one is technically about, but let me read to you what it is. What if the whole world were a dead, blasted wasteland? Mistborn. For a thousand years the ash fell, and no flowers bloomed. For a thousand years the Sakara, I think that's how you say it, I'm not even sure slaved in misery and lived in fear. For a thousand years the Lord Ruler, the Silver of Infinity Re... Nine? I, I apologize. I'm so sorry, you guys. With absolute power and unlimited terror, divinely invisible then, when hope was so long lost, not even its memory remained a terrible scarred Heartbroken half Gaia rediscovered it in the depths of the Lord Ruler's most hellish prison. Kelsier snapped and found in himself the powers of a Mistborn. A brilliant thief and natural leader, he turned his talents to the unlimited caper with the Lord Ruler himself as the mark. Kelsier recruits the underworld elites, the smartest and most trustworthy alimancers, each of whom shares one of his many powers, and all of whom relish a high-stakes challenge. Then, the Kelsier reveals his unlimited dream, 
not only the greatest heist in the history, but the downfall of the divine deposit. But, even with his best criminal crew ever assembled, Kel's plan looks more like the unlimited long shot until Luck brings a ragged girl named Finn into his life. Like him, she's a half Gaia orphan, but she's lived a much harsher life. Vin has learned to accept betrayal from everyone she meets. She will have to learn to trust Kel is to help her master the powers of which she never dreamed. So yeah, that's the description of Mistborn. It sounds really good and the description is really long, so forgive me for that. But, and just look at the cover, it's, just, it's gorgeous! I want to own it, but I have to read it first to see if I like it. Sometimes I'm like this, sometimes I'm not. And I just buy it without reading it. Because we're bold. <sighs> Alright, the next book I want to get to, and yes, it's a chunker. I don't know how I'm going to get through all of these books, but most of them I can find audiobooks for, so sign me up. But the third and final book in the Dark Artifice series is The Queen of Air and Darkness. The second book left me on a cliffhanger, of course. And I just need answers for about my Blackthorn family and Emma, like, and Kit. Oh, and poor Tuffy. If you haven't read the series, I won't get into too much further detail about that because something does happen in the second book and it's quite a lot. And again, I don't want to spoil people who haven't read the series, but... I just, I'm in love, okay? Don't judge me harshly. Like, I want to get a tattoo of one of the runes from this. And then this cover, I'm going to show you guys really quick. I know who some of them are, but I don't know who the rest of them are. But look at that. Oh, the artwork and the detail. And then look, there's church. I love it. Oh, thank you, Target, at the time for having a cover like that, and I didn't know it had that until after I got it home, and I was like, what is on the back of this? And I was like, oh, I don't know who most of those people were at the time, but I kind of do now. Not all of them, but not half of them. Alright, I'm doing quite a few buddy reads this month as well, and I still need a power through Dark Dawn because I am buddy reading that with... Kira, so I need to finish that. I'm sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. I'm not very good at that, but I do try. And another buddy read I am doing with someone over on Twitter is Daughter of the Pirate King by Trika Levensiller. That is the name. <laughs> Alright, and again, like I said, I like to go into my books pretty blind. I think most of us do. So, let me explain this one, I know it's been around for a while, but for me, I'm always late to the A game, but I have the books, just late to the party. Anyway, one of my captors yanks the hat from my head and my hair falls into place, reaching halfway down my back. Princess Alyssa will roll with it, Draxon says. There you are. You're a bit younger than I expected. He's one to talk. I may be three years shy of twenty, but I bet my sword arm that I could best him in any challenge of wits or skill. I was worried we'd have to tear apart the ship before we found you, he continues. You'll be coming with us now. I think you'll learn quickly, Captain, that I don't like being told what to do. Draxon snorts. <laughs> rests his hands on his belt and turns back toward the ship. His first mate, however, never takes his eyes off me, as though he anticipates a violent reaction. Well, of course I'm going to react violently, but why should he ac accept it already? I slam my heel into the foot of the pirate holding, holding me on the right. 
He grunts and releases me to reach down. Then I jab the side of my free hand into the corner of the pirate's throat. He makes a choking sound before placing his hands at his neck. I have terms, Captain, I say. That sounds really good. And like I said, I'm just like, party. Oh. When you see it naked, there's a couple of sores. I don't know if it'll focus enough for you to see, but that's really cool. And then those end pages. Those end pages are nice. And I really wish this cold would go away. Hey. Alright. And then the next book I'm going to talk about, because it's also a part of a Twitter book club that we started with a few people over on Twitter is basically where Halloween doesn't have to just last to read Halloween books for the month of October. You can read it all year long. I'll try to leave the Twitter handle down below. It's followed by me, Knox, and another person from the Hocus Pocus read-along that we did, and a few other people that I will tr also try to leave their everybody's link down below for when I can, when they get this posted. But our group book for this month is The Fever King by Victoria Lee, and I have it on ebook, so I don't actually have a physical copy of it, but I do have this gorgeous thing. So, we're going to read it on our Kindle this month, hopefully. Alright, and then the rest of the books I have, I just want to try to finish. I've already given summaries for, like, a couple of videos ago back. Can't remember which ones for sure. But I really do need to finish Malice because it's so good, and I'm only right here, and it's been forever, and it's kind of embarrassing at this point. But it, this one is a chunkier one, too. So I might just take a day where I just read them all, especially for when I'm not feeling well, like right now. And then, of course, I started this back in July, and I'm like right here. I really need to finish me some Iron Gold, so then I can read my beautiful cover of Dark Age, which is the second book into the, that series, and I'm so excited. And then, <laughs> and again, another little embarrassing one. Because I'm right where this black bookmark is. And I really need to finish the Priory of the Orange Tree. From what I've read of it way back when of this year. I really enjoyed it. I just need to get my butt around to finishing this big beast. Hopefully this month will be the month. And again, same thing for Kingdom of Ash. Because it's on my... And same thing with Kingdom of Ash. I really need to finish this book. Because I'm halfway through it. And I really need to know what happens between all of them, including Aelin and her cousin Adion. Oh, love him. And then Manon, I need to know what happens between her and Dorian. And then Kale and his wife Irene. And uh, Rowan on his way to get Aelin back and rule. Oh, I can't even remember her town. That's bad. Terrorism? Something like that? <laughs> anyway, those are the books I'm hoping to get through. We'll see if that happens, and if that does, that would be freaking awesome, because that would get me up to, like, right now my Goodreads goal, I'm sitting at 71, so if I get all these done before December, that would get me 72. Okay, this, we'll calculate it later. But, like, it should get me close to, like, around 80-something, mm, if we're good. <laughs> and then another book I also want to finish this month, too, because I'm working halfway through it right now, is A Curse So Dark and Lonely, and I am currently loving it, and I need the second book in my hands, like, please give it to me. Anyway, <laughs> so there you have like I said, there you have it. Those are the books that I want to try to plan to read for this month. Don't know if I'll get through all of them, but we're sure as heck always going to try. And if you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe right down there, because you, you know you really want to. 
and hit that notification bell so you don't miss further videos from me and I will see you guys next time and hopefully this voice the sick voice will be gone hopefully she says but yeah I will catch you guys later bye